Oh my God. Okay, it's time for the weekly ice bath. Um, So this week I put a, pound, a 20 pound bag in first and then the water, then I topped it off with half a bag or 10 pounds and it definitely gave the water more time to cool down so it's colder by about 5 degrees. So that worked. I was hoping <laughs> I was going to be able to do this when the temperature was 100 degrees but uh, we're now back down to like the high 80s. For a few days, we were in the 105s, 108 range, and uh, it didn't fall on a Thursday. Fucking ice bath Thursday. Oh. Oh. This is my 16th fucking ice bath every fucking week. Oh, it's a beautiful day. I'll feel better when I'm out of here. <laughs> I had a shit day. Oh my God. Not a happy camper. So this fucking ice bath is dedicated to me and my inner child. I was going to do it for me because it's my birthday on Saturday. I'll be 64. I'm really looking forward to 64. 63 was a tough year. Just a lot of transition. And uh, I put in a lot of hard work and it's going to pay off. It's starting to pay off and it's going to pay off more. Um, so I'm looking forward to the, the rest of my life. It starts right now. So the story goes like this, you know, I get up early, I go to the health club, I come back, I take my shower, I do make my coffee, I plug everything, you know, get everything going for day trading, it starts at 6.30. I look at my screen and I'm down like $500 and I'm like, what the fuck? So I did something I've never done before, which was... I don't even know how I did it, but inexplicably, I didn't get out of all my positions when I shut down. I had a winning day yesterday, and I, I must have set a stop. I had gone short. I must have set a stop lower. Anyway, it bought two contracts. And then if you watch the stock market today, it fucking dove pre-market. So when I got onto my little computer, I was shocked that it didn't show the normal amount, but it showed the normal amount less $500. So this is dedicated to me and my inner child. So what happens to me is I get really angry when I do something stupid like that. Like somehow I'm perfect and I'm not supposed to make mistakes. And, oh, I can be really hard on myself. My inner chatter just goes like, you fucking idiot. And I just want to throw things against the wall, break some shit. And um, because this, this thing I've never done before, so it was particularly odious to me really fucked me up so I took one or two trades but my head wasn't in the game so I stopped and uh, transferred 500 more into my account to make up for it and just let let those feelings of rage uh, uh, 
unwind, as Sam Harris says, let them unwind. So I sent a text to a couple of buddies of mine and I had to, I had to just share my utter fucking, it's not the money, it's not that much money. It's just that I did it, that I somehow went without getting out of all positions. I mean, if I had had, you know, more contracts, it could have, you know, well, it would have stopped me out at like a thousand dollars, I think. But anyway, so this is dedicated to my little, little Jay, who uh, deserves to be praised for all the hard work he's done and, you know, taking care of the people I take care of, who count on me, showing up, um, and who occasionally fucks up. And that's just okay. <laughs> One of my friends, he said, Jay, does self-loathing uh, bring you any joy and satisfaction? <laughs> and I was like, uh, no, but it's not like I'm choosing to do it, you know? It's like a reaction. Can you relate? Being hard on yourself? Ugh. So I said, all I can do is observe what's happening. And if I can just observe what's happening, it unwinds and then I can move on. So the more I do the day trading and make bad trades, the more I'm learning to just accept that that's a part of the game and uh, just work to get better and to learn. So there's a valuable lesson I learned from this, which is make goddamn fucking sure I'm out of all the positions when I shut that thing off. So I dedicated this to me. Uh, so I'm proud that this is my 16th, 16 weeks in a row. So for four months, I've shown up every week, every week and done this. And it's been great. It's been great. It's great to have something that is so challenging and yet so rewarding. Um, challenging in that I never want to do it. I always think, hey Jay, you could just blow off this week. You know, you've done 16 in a row. All that chatter, you know. So, same thing. Observe the chatter which happens and uh, let it unwind. So, Next time I do this, I'll be 64. And uh, I'm really happy about that. I like the even number years for some reason. And I'm really looking forward to uh, this next year. I'm gonna go back to Thailand for a few months in December, January. Reconnect with some people. Meet some new people. Eat some good food. trade off my desktop, my laptop. Over there when I do day trading, it's at nighttime, which is actually kind of cooler. So I'm usually up till about 11 o'clock at night and then I can sleep in and I don't have to get up early. Okay, the shivering has begun. Where are we at? Eight and a half minutes. So I'm not planning to do anything special for my birthday. My good friend David W. said, birthdays are for women and children. <laughs> and it's not a day that I generally feel like celebrating. You know, when I was a boy, I did. I'm still gonna do what I do on a Saturday. I usually, I like to drive for Uber or Lyft on the weekends. I'll probably do that and maybe go out to, dinner, go out to lunch with my mom. Um, I'd like to eat a steak. Oh, I'm on day four of my Prolon fast. Maybe that fucked me up a little bit yesterday and I forgot, I don't know. It's very challenging not to eat or to eat very little. It's remarkable what I've noticed about eating very little fasting. 
is how often I have the tendency to want to get up and go eat. You know, eat some almonds, eat a salad, eat a hard-boiled egg, eat whatever, you know. But when you're fasting, you have to let that go. There's only so many things you can put in your mouth. Uh, and uh, anyway, so I've done three days. I followed the Prolon diet to the letter of the law. Today's day four. So for example, for today, I got to have a little nut bar. I mean, and I mean little with coffee. That was my breakfast. Then there's like a pill I have to, to take. And then today, all I get is for lunch, soup and olives. So it's just powdered soup, which tastes fucking delicious because that's all I'm eating. And some olives, like eight olives. And then that's all I get for dinner too. Soup and olives. Normally for dinner, for all the other nights for dinner, I get this little choco bar, which is heavenly, especially when you're eating so little. <laughs> you know, you take tiny little bites, you know, to make it last. Oh, and you can drink as much herbal tea as you want. They give you lots of herbal tea. You couldn't even drink it if you wanted to drink all the tea they give you. So that's it. That's what I'm eating today. Tomorrow it's the nut bar again for breakfast. I think it's crackers and soup. And then I think it's soup and a choco bar. And that's it. And then we get to Saturday, which is my birthday. I've lost three pounds in three days, which is okay. I was hoping to lose, I don't know. Uh, I hope I lose at least five pounds for five days, so we'll see. I'm definitely in ketosis. I have a ketosis meter I breathe into. I got into ketosis yesterday, day two. Maybe that's why the water feels colder too. I don't know. But anyway, I'm really glad I'm doing it. I'm gonna do another one in August. Um, oh. It's just cold, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters. I have not found my little friend at 12 minutes and 21 seconds. So if you want to wish me happy birthday, go for it in the comments. I don't ever really look at the comments, but uh, I'll look at this one, see if you want to say happy birthday to me. I'm over halfway, over halfway through my life. I figured that out at 50, but I'm, I'm moving into the last third of my life. I'm aiming for 90, 26 more years. So, That's sobering. Big shivering, big fucking shivering. Next uh, ice bath will be dedicated to my mom. I almost did today for my mom since she was around when I was born, but I wanted to cover all that inner child stuff. It helped me to express that out loud. But next week will be Mary Kay C. this up I invite you to be gentle with your inner child think about if you're a parent how great you were to your children when they were young how you wanted them to succeed how you told them encouraging stuff I don't know what happens but it happened to me I got older and 
I've been a real rat bastard when it came to my talking to myself. It was anger and rage and self-loathing. So thankfully it happens less often and when it does happen, it doesn't last very long. Alright, that was 15 minutes. Okay, I gotta get out now. Ooh.